Let's go ahead and open our code editor here so we can actually take a look at the classes and how do we, what changes we need to make. We're going to add a create method inside of our hamburger store because now we are taking away the power of create and ordering from the subclasses, if you will, from our franchise stores, because we want to control that. So what we're going to do first, actually, we're going to make sure that this hamburger store is now abstract. Okay, and we'll make other changes here. But the first thing we need to do is to create another, actually, I'm going to say public at the bottom here, I'm going to say create, uh, let's see, it's going to be hamburger type call this create hamburger okay of course I'm gonna pass still gonna pass string type and such now notice what we're gonna to have to do here we are also going to make this an abstract I'm gonna say abstract now why is this important here well we're gonna make this abstract because we want to make sure that anybody who in this case franchises that inherits or extends or implements our hamburger store they are able to also create their own hamburger so they can have the flexibility of creating their own hamburger okay so but now here's the thing the create hamburger here we what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this create hamburger inside of our order hamburger instead of calling the hamburger class so we can transport our create hamburger inside instead of using this factory uh, the simple factory that we had before so now what I'm gonna do is say create hamburger and I'm gonna pass of course the type as such so we made sure that the we have a create hamburger abstract which knows how to create a hamburger and instead of calling our factory which was our symbol factory we are now just invoking this method so any of the other franchise that will inherit or implement this hamburger store will have all of this all done for them. So now I don't even need this anymore. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna need that either. Okay. And of course everything else stays the same. So here is the representation of what we are doing here. So we are creating the hamburger store as an abstract class, and then we can create as many stores. And notice now that each store knows how to create its own pizza because now it's implementing our hamburger headquarter class. All right, so inside of our model here, notice we have created a few uh, burgers or hamburgers. We have bun less burger, cheese burger, Greek, and so many others. This was for our simple factory, but we can still use that. But let's modify so that we can actually create different kind of pizzas. Okay, let's go ahead and create uh, these two different stores, Moe's Hamburger Store and Jamaican Hamburger Store, right? So, and then of course they will extend or implement our abstract hamburger store. Let's put that together. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I am going to create inside of a model, new Java class and I'm going to say jam hamburger store I think I spelled correctly and I'm going to say this extends hamburger store okay notice now we have to implement methods so implement those and there we go so inside of our create now notice that inside of our create hamburger we need to create the actual hamburger and then pass pass it along so what we can do now here is the following we can go ahead and put the if statements we can say if uh, type that equals say cheese because we know we are inside of our Jamaican hamburger store we are obviously going to create Jamaican style hamburger so in this case I'm going to go ahead and say return okay I'm going to return new Jamaican. I'm going to call this Jamaican cheese hamburger. Let's say burger. Let's say, okay, we haven't created that. That's no problem. Click here. I'm going to go ahead and create Jamaican burger. And we're going to put inside of the models. That's totally fine. For now, let's keep it at empty. I'm going to say else if type that equals veggie 
I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy this, of course. And this is going to be Jamaican veggie burger. Of course, we don't have that yet. We haven't created. Let's go ahead and create that. Instead of model, that's totally fine. Notice it automatically extends hamburger because it knows it is a hamburger. For now, let's just leave all of that empty. Okay, so now we have that hierarchy here in our store. We have created this um, Jamaican store which creates hamburgers the way we want it to create hamburgers, right? Following the recipes, following everything that needs to be followed from our super class or from our headquarter franchise. Okay, and we can of course keep putting all of that there. And here I'm just going to go ahead and say else return null if there's nothing else that we are returning there. Okay, and of course we can add as many others as we see fit. Okay, on the same token, we can go ahead and create the Mozambican store, Moz hamburger store. Let's go back here. I'm going to say right click, Moz hamburger store. I notice I made a mistake here, but that's not a, that's totally fine. All right, so this will extend, right? We're going to extend our headquarters, which will be hamburger store. And we need to implement that one there. I'm going to just go copy what we already have. That way, copy all of this. Of course, this is going to be Mozambican cheeseburger, Mozambican veggie burger. Let's create those classes also. There we go. And the veggie. And voila. Okay, they're empty, of course, but notice they extend hamburger. Very nice. So we have now our infrastructure that we created here, which is we have the hamburger store, knows how to create a hamburger, order a hamburger. And then we have the Jamaican hamburger store, which creates Jamaican style hamburger, all different types, but they are all Jamaican. And we have Mozambican hamburger store, which also knows how to create Mozambican style hamburgers. Okay, so we've removed the dependency here from the stores to put all of them inside of our hamburger store franchise. But we also added more flexibility for each of these stores to actually do other things that are not very too concerning for us at the top level, right? So if they want to maybe create a different, ah, I made a mistake. This shouldn't be create pizza, ha, <laughs> create hamburger. All right, this also should be create hamburger. Maybe I was too hungry to think of pizza, but anyway, you get the idea, okay? So now we have this hierarchy. Now to make it so that it's ready for us to test it out, uh, what are we gonna do? Let's go back to our hamburger here. What are we gonna do? We're gonna add a few things so that we actually see the creation of a hamburger. Now the other thing I'm going to do here because hamburger is an abstract idea is what an object is. I'm going to make this also abstract. Okay, so that all of the concrete hamburgers will actually uh, get all the properties from our hamburger. So this is going to be public, I'm going to add abstract here, as such. That's perfect. Now, a hamburger has a few properties, of course, I'm going to start by saying public. Uh, I'm going to say name. This has to be a string, of course. Okay, not a big deal here. We're just adding a few properties to our hamburger. Um, and we're going to say, for instance, string sauce. Okay, the public, maybe what else? Buns. Okay, haven't really fact much about this but just giving you an idea of things we can do okay now we have our properties let's see we have prepare let's add maybe s out here that says I'm gonna say preparing I'm gonna pan here the name 
right, of whatever we are creating there. And so let's see, okay, what else? Um, and then I'm going to S out as well. I'm going to say adding saws. And I'm going to just say here, well, pass in the sauce that we're adding. So again, I'm going to say adding buns. All right, I'm going to pass the buns. Okay, could be anything, just an example here. All right, looks like we don't need to add any of these. Let's see, what does it say? Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we have our prepare for our cook. I'm gonna say S out, say cooking, nothing special. And box, I'm gonna say S out, boxing. And there we go. And for now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a, a say public string get name. This is a getter. I'm going to say s out. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and say return name. I'm just going to return the name that we have passed there. Okay, so we have our hamburger. It's looking real good. So, what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and work, for instance, on our Jamaican cheeseburger. Click on that. This is what we created earlier and extends hamburger.